Blues fans, CV Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 1. Rob, the more things change, the more they say the same. It was great, wasn't it? <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. We did, man. We needed a home win. We, we did need a home win. And, you know, he's it, not coming against anyone better. You know, against the United, it would have been a good win, yeah. But I, this one, it just means more. It just means more. And look, we were up against it. With the United, if we'd have beaten them, we'd have gone, what, nine points ahead of them now. Obviously, we're whatever we are. But this one, it was either we lose and we go level with them or it's anything and we used to keep that gap. And it means so much more. And when it means more, we dug in and got the fucking result. It's just perfect. It's absolutely perfect. What do you think about Drew's inclusion to squad? I mean, first off, finally. Yes. But let's talk about how he was today because I think he was one of the man of the matches. I think he was probably my man of the match. Um, he was fantastic. And, 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 you know, the thing is... is, is he lacked it a bit when he came to the end of his time on the pitch. You know, he was a bit losing a few balls here and there. The guy isn't fit, but he's a lot fitter than he probably has been for the last few seasons. And he looked ready to go. He looked raring. And even when he missed the uh, the first chance, obviously he got the, the post off the rebound or whatever. He just he looked lethal. He looked dangerous. And that's the difference between having someone like Batshuayi and him. Is even though he hasn't played a lot of games, he's ready to go when the opportunity comes. Batshuayi wasn't on Monday, and it cost us big time. Um, even at one 0 you know we. There was a moment in the game where they looked like they could come back into it, but we never looked like we were going to be completely blown out of the water. It was and a really poor Tottenham side, weren't it? Um, I thought they actually played all right for the large chunks of the game. Um, they, they, they lacked a focal point up front. That, 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 was, that was the bottom line. Um, Kane and Saul obviously being out are huge losses for them, but we did what we had to do, you know, focus on the Chelsea point of view. Is We can only play who's against us. We can only play who's right in front of us. And we did. Um, and, and the result was fantastic for what we needed, which was three points. I'll be honest with you, come the start of the game, I'd have been happy with a point just to keep that gap, you know. Uh, and I really wasn't kind of, uh, really wasn't keen, happy about certain things that come up. The lineup questioned so many things and so many different bits, but he gave it a go, he changed it up, and I rate that so highly. I rate that so, so highly. He's done it twice now. We, obviously, we played three, against, uh, three at the back against Spurs before, um, and obviously, it kind of took everyone by surprise. Couldn't have played the same thing again and taken everyone by surprise, but the inclusion of Mount and Barkley, who both were fan fucking tastic. Barkley had a really good they game today. Were fantastic. And people, uh, I'll be honest with you, I get a lot of abuse online. People calling me racist, saying that I prefer to see Mount play over Willian and Pedro and a handful of others. And both of them today, both um, Pedro, sorry, Barkley and Mount, were fantastic. And I get a shitload of abuse for it. Where are you all now? Because they both played fucking fantastically well. And you can see what I'm saying. You can see why they're included. Mount did not f fucking stop running at all. And he was fantastic. He probably should have got taken off towards the end of the game because he was knackered. And Loftus, and Loftus Cheek probably should have come on to get the minutes under the belt. But I mean, when, the, when the goal went in, situations changed. It's fine, I'll give you that. But he, both of them up front were just so, so perfect. It almost looked kind of back to how it were under Conte, a lot narrower. The wide players, yeah, they got wide a bit. They kind of occupied different areas, but they occupied the middle of the pitch so, so well. And we didn't give them a chance to play football. And that was a big thing. You could see Vertonghen getting annoyed or Deferro getting annoyed. You could see all these people just got just more and more pissed off as the game went on from a Tottenham point of view. Uh, Undombele did nothing all game and he was meant to be this... Celso was just kicking everybody. Exactly. It, they didn't do anything all game, but that's because we didn't allow them to and it was so so perfect everything about it was so so perfect it was brilliantly set up by Frank right personnel right timing probably would have brought on off the sheet maybe just run the ball out a bit the goal for them is unfortunate I, if you, you wouldn't have seen it because you're at the other end it is yeah who knows uh, <laughs> Chelsea Spurs isn't it yeah exactly uh, it was a wicked deflection for the second goal there's nothing Willie could have done about it. it they tried to get a foot across and it, it is what it is but fantastic fantastic results today and we did we did nothing wrong we did absolutely nothing wrong we were perfect